This recording is going to be focused on sales order and quotation entry inside a Driven CRM. To start with, we're going to find the account that we want to go ahead and do a quote for. Now I can go to the prospect customers vendor search. I can do also a lookup for an account directly inside the actual the, the power search functions right from here. Um, I can also just go ahead and create the prospect or if I want to go ahead and create the proposal, I can do so over here on the left hand side. In this entering, we're just going to simply say, say new proposal sales order and I'm going to do a search for an existing account. So in this case, I'll do it by last name and say Jeff White here with Sample Company. And upon making the selection, I can go ahead and title the order that I'm going to be sending out. So we'll just say Sample Widget Order. Down under here, I can go ahead and select the actual contact address or the bill to information that I want to go ahead and send this quote out to. If I want to go ahead and update that information, I can do that obviously on the fly as well. And I'll say Hill Avenue and we'll go here and say 204. Down under here, I can go ahead and select a repeat of a previous order if I want to go ahead and repeat the prior orders that the client has. If I select this option, it will allow for me to go ahead and select that from here. I can also go and copy another order number from another customer's profile so that I can use it as a framework. I can adjust quantities and discounts and pricing to tailor it to meet the, this customer's needs, obviously, but I can use that as basically like a template. Up here at the top, we're just going to say we're going to start a brand new blank quotation, and upon doing so, we're going to click on Save and Create. Um, now up here at the top, I have a multitude of information that we're tracking. I'm logged in as Dan Miller here, as you can see. So um, that I'm the actual designated sales rep for this one. If I have an expected ship date, I can make that designation from here. Before going into those fields, though, I can also process an order phase. Um, each one of these phases has intuition and also it has workflow built directly into it. So if you click on pending approval, for example, that can send out an email um, to somebody in accounting so they can determine financial settings such as terms, conditions, etc. Um, upon getting a confirmed sales order in this place, then what will end up happening is it will open up things like our payment option now. Um, we have real-time integration directly with nine different merchant providers, QuickBooks Merchant Services being obviously our provider of choice. Um, for those QuickBooks users that are using that, there's some incredible reconciliation benefits. Our sales team can educate you about those as well. We also handle pack and ship. Um, so for those that are using a PC with Driven CRM, we have a third-party integration with an application called ShipRush, and you can actually go ahead and create your waybills um, for international shipments that can assist with actually creating your custom documentation for your custom forms and those types of things, pro forma invoices, etc. Um, for those that don't care about that, that are using WorldShip or Ship Manager today and they don't mind using um, their existing system to do that, we can still keep track of their tracking number, their shipment cost, the date of shipment, who was actually the, who performed the shipment as well, and what was included in that box. We do handle multiple shipments. Um, per order as well, so that's something that's nice about that. Um, there's further information with regards to shipping settings up over here on the right hand side and you can also designate of course your ship to right from here. Um, reference back over here on the left hand side, if you have a campaign that you want to go ahead and designate right for here for marketing, then you can actually go ahead and make that designation accordingly. Um, discount pricing for example, or if you just want to go ahead and let the actual, um, that you want to actually designate how this person got in touch with your business, so that you can track revenue metrics towards what's going well, what marketing venues are performing well for you as well. It will tie that revenue back into that actual marketing campaign. Um, for those that are interested in the pipeline and forecasting features, you can create new pipelines based on this order right from here. And it will carry information over obviously account detail, the potential of the revenue will be based on the quote amount that you enter here. You can adjust those types of things as well. Um, we obviously keep track of custom statuses as well as custom fields up here at the top. So if you guys have and something that you want to go ahead and keep track that's custom with regards to this order, then you, you can do that as well. Down under here, you can add the line items directly from the order. For those that are using QuickBooks today, um, obviously you're, you're familiar with able, being able to do a search on model number, which we support right from here as well. Um, you can also search based on description or base price or on-hand quantity. Um, you can also go into the visible columns field up here at the top and you can select a multitude of information that you could do a search on. So if you want to look at things, for example, that have a specific reader point that are, or that are available, for example, um, then you can go ahead and do those searches and pull that into your criteria. You can also filter the data so that it can be equal to, greater than or equal to, less than, or obviously between certain values as well. Um, for easier order entry as well, if you're s selecting items consistently for orders and things of that nature, instead of having to do searches for them time and time again, um, the system will intuitively show you what have you ordered recently or what have you quoted somebody on recently, forgive me. Um, and at that point, then you can use that as a reference point from here. Uh, we do show on-hand quantity right over here on the right-hand side so that if you want to look at what's currently available or not available, then at that point you can see that information in real time. 
down under here we'll say for example that we want to go ahead and pick an order grouping and um, I know that because of what's going to be in here next which is that I'm going to click on the A1 or A2 custom shed in this case and it's going to show me that I have rough and labor down under here now this is a QuickBooks group so at that point then if I want to go ahead and make some adjustments to the base prices of these units over here then I can do so so for example here I want to go ahead and adjust that to, seven, to 150 and this one to 75 I can make those adjustments accordingly I can also adjust quantity over here on the left hand side as well up here at the top, I can make a designation of discount based on either the percentage of the transaction or based on the amount as well. And once I finalize that, just simply click on Save Item, Return to Order, and return this to order as well, and it'll bring all those line items back for me. Now at this point, if I want to go ahead and print out my packing list or if I want to go ahead and print out one of our standard templates with regards to invoices, etc., then I can do that right from here. Simply click on the print screen. I can also go ahead and email this out in a PDF format for the client right from here as well. Before doing so, if I want to go ahead and tender payment, then I can make that designation from here. As we talked about beforehand, we do work with merchant providers built into the system, so uh, nine different one of them. Now, in addition to that, we also work, as we mentioned beforehand, with QuickBooks Merchant Services. It's a, it's a great add-on for us and a great partner to have. Um, down under here, we can just obviously enter that card data in. What is your virtual terminal? We'll feed that data directly over to the transaction processor. Um, and at that point then gets you back a real-time authorization either was it declined or was it authorized and if it was authorized what's the authorization number for you um, just to let you know the data that's stored inside of our systems can be the first and the last four digits of the card number we never show you the CVV code or the expiration date um, so that we are PCI PADSS compliant for those that are processing with check or cash at that point they can make those designations from here and this will feed back into the undeposited funds feature of QuickBooks for you for the the pack and ship features inside the system, as we mentioned beforehand, um, you would want to make sure that you're using a PC as you see here, I'm using a Mac, um, but if you want to do shipping with the waybills in the ShipRush application, um, that is a product supported by ZFirm. It's an integration that we support directly inside the system here. Um, so it has all common carriers, UPS, FedEx, USPS as well, and also DHL supported directly in that interface uh, for international shipments as well. From here, if you just want to do a designation of a manual shipment, so for example, since I'm using a Mac, if I want to go in here and label uh, generate manually, then at that point I can. I can still make a designation of the tracking information and also the according cost of that and designate that right from here. And that will bring that detail back into the actual shipment for me. So I can go ahead and make that designation here and then say I want to finalize that shipment. And then at that point, it'll let me know that I'm done to the order and I can go ahead and complete that. It will give me a reminder here that these items are still remaining as unshipped. Um, so we do support multiple shipments for for actual order. Uh, the designation, the time date, and the stamping, all that information is down under here obviously as well. If I want to send an email out directly to the client, then at that point then I can. Um, so with a confirmation in PDF format with their invoice, etc. as well. Um, and I can obviously send that directly out from here. So we can just say sample thank you. And we'll just say sincerely Jeff White. Upon doing that, we can click on uh, send email and then it will automatically request that we set up a follow up to take care of the next action. Uh, so from here I can just do a call back. I can call that person back, let's say for example on Monday of next week. And at that point then, click on save follow up up here at the top left hand side. All the information that we've had thus far that we've entered such as our follow ups, etc. All that information will actually get stored against the customer's profile um, so that I can use that as a reference point from here on out. In addition to that, uh, the workspace behind the scenes here stays resident. So one of the nice things about the Driven CRM application is that it has a frame and frame technology. So as I'm working on that quote, if I still want to go back in here and look up accounts or look at the item list or those types of things, then I can still do so. That sums up our presentation for today. If you have further questions, please contact our sales team at 813-681-4300 and select option 2.